Kat. <laughs> and today we're doing a book talk on Three Dark Crowns by... Kandare... Kandare Blake? Kandara right? Blake. Kandara? I watched a video Kandara for Kandara Blake. <laughs> we body read this book this month. If you don't know what it's about, it's about three sisters. They're triplets, they all have powers, and they have to fight each other to the death. Because only one can be queen. I give this book a 2 out of 5 stars. Really? Yes. Well, I, gave, I gave it a 4 out of 5. She <laughs> so gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So, so you can see that she liked it a little bit more than I did. Now this video will contain spoilers, probably. Most likely. So if you haven't read the book, we suggest that you don't watch this. Unless and, you like to spoil I mean, yourself. Yeah, unless you want to spoil <laughs> you yourself. Just do whatever. Yeah. We're going to be talking about different subjects like the plot, the writing, the characters. And I got me some watermelon. I don't. <laughs> when I picked up this book, I was expecting a lot of dark and just murder. Because, you know, that's what <laughs> yeah. they tell you it's going to be about. But it's not. <laughs> the characters are Catherine, Arsinoe. Arsino, I think that's how you pronounce her name, yeah, that's what I think. and Mirabella. They're the three sisters, and basically throughout the book, they're constantly talking about how they're gonna, there's gonna be this festival called the Beltane Festival, where they're gonna have to like present themselves and show their powers. And after this festival, they have a whole year to kill each other. There's a lot of romance, and that for me at least, that was literally the plot. They were constantly mentioning the fact that they were going to kill each other. Just, it was a lot of talk. <laughs> a lot of talk and nothing was happening. I found it really boring. I mean, yeah, I agree that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but I, I liked it because I really liked the writing. I mean, it made me not bored. And I get bored easily with books. Well, I mean, the writing was good. I will say that. It was good. I can tell that she can write, <laughs> but it was just the plot itself, it wasn't um, captivating enough for me. I came to terms with it because <laughs> um, she's obviously making other books for it, so I guess it's sort of like the beginning yeah. of like everything that's going to happen and eventually it'll go cray cray. It just felt really slow to me. Like the end, it's really exciting. Like mm -hmm. the last like yeah. 100 pages. When the actual festival is like finally happening, that's when like things starts to happen. At the very, very end, the Belting um, festival happened. I wish it would have started um, earlier. I just wanted them to meet. <laughs> that's where all the action yes. would have happened. They yes. all met. Eventually, two of the sisters meet. Arsenal and Mirabella when they meet in the forest. Mm -hmm. I thought that could have been a really great scene, but it was just, it lasted two seconds. It, was flat. it felt short. It felt like there should have been more to the scenes and the writing. Like, it should have been more descriptive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for like the feelings and stuff. You don't yeah. know like how they feel. No. It's just she does this, she does that. But it's not like really descriptive when it comes to the feelings. It felt like the characters were emotionless, yeah. basically. And I find it really hard to connect with characters if I don't know what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. Because that's what makes them human. So I thought the plot was alright. Boring. Cat, how would you sum up the plot? <laughs> uh, I mean, it was good, but it was missing things. Yeah, it was missing things. I just wish the end part of the book would have been longer. Mm -hmm. Characters! Let's talk about the characters. Your favorite character. Which character did you like? Which character did you hate? Um, and why? <laughs> I guess I liked Mirabella the most. Just because she... Because I liked how she was the, like the strongest. But she didn't want to kill her sisters. Yeah, I like that too. Mirabella is supposed to be the strongest out of all the three sisters. Which I thought was so lame. Because I thought they were all going to be super powerful and... Ah! But no, Mirabella is the only thing that I talk about. Like, Mirabella is someone that's going to win. Everyone else is weak. And then, you never truly see how powerful she is. Like in that part where they were... It was during the festival. And it was like in a tent or something, and they were gonna yeah. like hurt Arsenal. Arsenal and They're about to kill her, yeah. And it showed. It was like a like a two second like scene of her showing her powers and creating a storm. But it was. It didn't. She didn't. Kandera didn't make it like super exciting, mm -mm. like what I would have wanted. And that could have been really great and really actiony or whatever, but it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Your least favorite character? Definitely Catherine. Yeah. Catherine, you didn't like yeah. Catherine? No, I didn't like. Why? It. 
I don't know. It was, it just seemed like she was like Slytherin. <laughs> so true. <laughs> and she was I, I the know. person that would be in Slytherin. Every time I picture her in my in my head, I picture her as like a little girl. Like she was so like innocent. Mm -hmm. But then evil. I don't know. Yeah, like she had, she was secretly like really evil. Like you could tell she did she she had no like problem killing her sisters. Okay, let's talk about my favorite stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a favorite character. Because like, again, I didn't feel any attachment to these people, so it's, it was really hard for me to like them. All in the same scale of alright. <laughs> you were all alright. If you had to be friends with any of them, who would you be? Who would you be friends with? Billy. Billy? <laughs> <laughs> really? I like Billy. Billy was nice. And I, f I feel like I would be Billy if I was in the situation. Because Billy isn't from that land. Mm -hmm. So he's always constantly being like, this place is so strange, all that, like, he, he doesn't really know about magic. And I feel like if I was in that world, I would be like, yo, this is all messed up and it makes no sense. Why are you guys killing each other? Yeah, that is the only likable character for me. <laughs> and then my least favorite character was Joseph. That guy was such... A jerk. Yeah. I... A-hole. Liar. Just... Cheater. Cheater. <laughs> Definitely a cheater. I didn't like him because... He would say one thing and then do another. Joseph is supposed to be in love with Jules and Jules is friends with Arsenal. He's constantly being like, I love you Jules, I love you Jules, me. <laughs> and then in the book, he and Mirabella have a thing. They meet, five minutes later they hook up and then the next day they're acting like a couple. They're all happy, la 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 la. <laughs> And then Jules comes find him and he's like, oh my gosh, Jules, <laughs> ah! He like changes his mind to seconds and I hated that. And then when, when he met Mirabella again in the forest during the festival, the, the naturalist run or whatever, they met and they just completely got back together again. I was about to kill him. Annoying. The romance in this book was <laughs> disappointing. Let's talk about the romance. <laughs> Do you have a favorite couple? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine and Peter. Catherine is the poison queen. Her storyline is that she's learning how to flirt with men. I think I mentioned that. <laughs> I don't know if I did actually. But that's her story. Did. Her storyline is that she's learning how to seduce men. So Peter <laughs> is teaching her how to get out of her shell or whatever. And how to be like perfect <laughs> by the suitor. Yeah. So I don't know why. How'd you feel about Catherine and Peter? It shouldn't have been a thing. <laughs> Like, they just got together. Peter was supposed to show her how to be ready for suitors, and then he ends up falling in love with her. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they had any like time together either, but it still happened really fast. Oh, incredibly fast. <laughs> incredibly like, fast. The one second that he told her he was going to help her, he like, goes to kiss her. Yes. And he goes, he, he, I don't know what he says, but he goes something like, like, you're almost ready or something like that. Like... You're getting better. Yes. <laughs> like one second in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the next chapter, they're already in love. You don't really get to see romance at all. Like how it progresses, you don't get to see that. Catherine's transformation, because she's supposed to be transforming into like a more charming and mm -hmm. more out there girl. You don't see that either. They just tell you, tell you it's happening. They're like, oh, Catherine's getting so much better. Never, you never get to see no it. No show, more tell. <laughs> yeah, no show, more tell. Peter pushed Catherine down the hole. Yes, the couple, the beautiful couple. He told her to meet him somewhere, and then he pushed her into a hole where the other princesses or queens were were pushed into. Yeah. And then she survived. <laughs> how does she? How does she survive? I know. Hole? She says that it never freaking, stops. She talks about it. She's like, I think this hole is never ending, because it's so deep. And so he pushes her in, and then... She survives. And he survives. <laughs> she survives That's another thing. with a few cuts on her, not, nothing broken or no, anything. She's fine. <laughs> like, I don't know how that happened. Like, is there, like, I hope they tell us in the second book, because that's, like... Yeah, again, they don't tell no you anything. She don't tell you nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, Catherine, boo! Peter, boo! boo. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph and Jules. I mean, I understand their romance, because they were childhood friends. Yeah. It, it could have been so cute. Yeah. Like, they, they, they like wait five years to be with each other. They've been in love with each other since they were little kids. Obviously, that doesn't work out because like we said, Joseph is a cheater and a jerk. So again, did you like them or not? 
And I mean the you, romance itself. Like, we're talking about the romance, like their love story. Did you were you into their love story? <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but it could have been better. I don't know. They should have gone through more stuff together. I guess they were barely together before he and Mirabella mm -hmm. got together. And I don't. I don't know what's going in his going on in his mind, because you know, tell not show. But <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, <laughs> But I don't know. Out of all of them, I would probably choose theirs for like, you know, like a favorite. Favorite love story. Not really story. favorite. It was so dramatic the whole time. <laughs> okay? So dramatic. Between Jules, Joseph, and Arsenal. Because Arsenal is the third wheel friend. That's just watching everything that's happening. Meddling. And just yeah. trying to fix things for them. And basically their whole romance is ruined because of her. Because she does a love spell but then ruins it. It was just bad. It was a bad relationship. And obviously, Joseph cheats on her, and then Jules wants to forgive him. Which, <laughs> never gonna happen if it were me. I know! I, know. <laughs> I didn't, I just, nope. And I, like I said, Joseph is, was my least favorite character. So I definitely cannot root for them. The only couple I root for is Arsenal and Billy, and they were <laughs> not even a couple. <laughs> they were just friends. Oh, Joseph and Mirabella. Shouldn't have even happened. <laughs> Shouldn't have even happened. No. So bad. They meet. They don't even speak to each other at all. He <laughs> it's their, they got together. He was like, I'm so cold. And Mirabella yes. was like, I'll warm you I'll up. I'll warm you and up. And then they, they sleep together. <laughs> and so she takes up her clothes mm. and just lays with them. All naked. All <laughs> naked. It's like, literally, that is the only thing you could have done. Really. You're an elemental. You have fire. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> For real? You could have been like <laughs> warm him up. <laughs> like ah, that's so what annoying. normal people do, Mirabella. And then they make a fire. <laughs> yes. And then the next day, they're acting like a freaking couple, like uh, holding hands, kissing mm -hmm. each other. They don't even know each other's names. It's been on their way for him to go back. To, to Jules, Jules, they were holding hands. And once he heard, that's the thing I told you how he heard a yell in yeah. the forest and he instantly asked if it was Jules. He instantly knew. <laughs> like how? He just knows. <laughs> and he looked back at Mirabella all like in regret. And he was like, I'm sorry. And then Bye. he left. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Least favorite couple. Hated that. World building. Let's talk about world building. World building is really important in fantasy. Do you like the world building? I like the idea of it. I like the whole concept of the triplets and the queens with the mm -hmm. powers. and It was all really interesting. It could have been really interesting. I, also, I liked how it wasn't just like that. Like, there's the mainland, which is like Yeah, so us, much mystery. Like normal. Yeah. And then it's like a mysterious island. Like, say Wonder Woman's island where it's yeah. like hidden away or something. I think, I think it's really cool. I just wish... There was a little bit more world building because mm -hmm. I'm really interested in the history. I'm really interested to see what the heck happens to their mom. Like they have the kids. Oh, yeah, I know. And the, what? They where just, does the mom she just go? Lets them go. Like does she not love yeah, them? Yeah, she anything? just they give up the kids to be trained by some people. And she's supposed to know which child has which power, mm -hmm. but she was wrong. Like I don't understand if she did it on purpose or if she. She just didn't know for reals or. Do you know how Arsenal tries to escape, mm -hmm. but they can't. Yeah, because like, that was a red really mist or something. Yeah, like they say the island can't let them go or something. I thought that was really interesting, but I would want to know like why. And I mean, maybe that's in like the next books because this is a series and there's more more books. Cut short. I like the world building. I just wish, <laughs> I just wish there was more of it because mm -hmm. there's they give you a little bit. She gives you a little bit of information. Favorite and least favorite part of the book. I guess my favorite part would be just at the very end when Arsenal says that she's a poisoner. Yes. <laughs> just that small part, that's my favorite the, part. The last page of the book the gave last me hope. Sentence. <laughs> the last sentence. I was like, oh, wait, what? You know, only because of that last page, I am considering <laughs> reading the wait, next book. Wait, talk about the, 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 the last page. The last page. There was a twist in the last page and that was... That was the twist we just told you. Yeah. <laughs> well, Arsenal um, being a poisoner. Because Arsenal is supposed to be the natural naturalist queen, so she controls like flowers and animals mm -hmm. and 
nature, basically. But of course, her power doesn't like come to yeah, her, and they've like been awaken. training her and training her, and nothing's happening. But then she finds out that she's actually a poisoner. A poisoner. Like Catherine is supposed to be the poisoner. But again, um, Catherine is weak. They call they call her weak, and that her mm -hmm. gift isn't awake yet, or whatever. She's supposed to be <laughs> immune to poisons, but she's not, and that's why she looks all pale and, and fragile. Sick, yeah. But now your least your least favorite. Probably the romance. Your least uh, favorite. Yeah. My favorite part of the book. Well, I think yeah, I would say the last twist at the end, the only twist of the mm -hmm. book, <laughs> which happens in the last page. <laughs> um. Because it, it, it caught me by surprise and I didn't see that coming and it made me want to know what happens after mm -hmm. even though I literally don't care that much mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then my least favorite part my least favorite part was the fact that it was underdeveloped and the scenes felt short to me like important moments in the book felt really short mm -hmm. and I felt like they should have been longer and more descriptive more, more dramatic, more, more dramatic, more exciting. Filled. If I if I were to p tell you all the important moments in this book, I would just literally go to the end <laughs> <laughs> and tell you this is the most important part. Hey, well, would you recommend this book, Kat? Yes, unless you like you want to read it because of romance. Although it doesn't really indicate it has romance. No, it doesn't. But I mean, almost every book has romance. If you really like romance, this is not the book for you because <laughs> the romance is gonna make you. Cringe. cry and cry in like disappointment because <laughs> it was just not good at all if you're expecting action <laughs> this book is not gonna have it unless you like slow burners then i would recommend it like i liked it like four out of five stars <laughs> <laughs> are you rethinking after everything we discussed have are you rethinking your what well, you rate it or you still hang on to four out of five stars I, I'm still hanging on to it. <laughs> I said I hang on to my two out of five stars. I do not recommend this book. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it was the most horrible book I've ever read because no. There's definitely better books out there. So if I were to recommend a book, it would not. This would not be at the top of my list. You want to talk about no? No, no. That's it! That's it for this Woo! video! I enjoy this. Let's do more of these videos. I just like talking. This this is what I want. Just sit down and discuss. Discuss mm -hmm. books. That's fun. This video is probably really long. <laughs> my 30 um, minutes long. In my channel, I'm gonna eventually upload the discussion for And I Darken. You have it right here. This is the book. Um, And I Darken by Kristen White. Um, I love this author. Yes. So hopefully this is a good it. book. Um, so... I'll wait for this one. We'll do the exact same thing. Sit down and just talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Kat, for coming You're and welcome. doing this discussion with me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>